Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my Pocket Edition Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this light switch. Now before we start, I am using touch controls today. My controller is being unreliable and it's connecting and disconnecting all the time, uh, making it impossible to use a controller. So I'm going to try and find like a new one really soon, but uh, hopefully it's not too awkward using the touch controls today. Uh, but this is a really simple contraption, so it's basically what it says. So when we press this red button down the bottom, it's going to turn off the light. When we press the top one, it's going to turn on the light and keep it on. So that's the really cool uh, feature about this. So you can imagine hooking this up to all your lights in your house, um, and you can control um, whether they're on using this switch here. So that's a really cool idea you could do with this contraption. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this now. So the materials you're going to need is 8 redstone dust, 2 redstone torches, 2 buttons of your choice, I've just gotten some stone ones, 1 redstone lamp, 1 red wool block, 1 green wool block, and 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we're going to do is get our red wool, we're going to place that down. Then on top of the red wool, we're going to place our green re uh, wool block, and I suck at these touch controls. We're going to go and get our stain buttons and place them on the front of these two blocks. We're going to come around the back, we're going to get our blocks of choice, we're going to place one to the left here and then one behind. On this side, we're going to leave two blocks and then place one block down. Get your two redstone torches and we're going to place them on the insides of these two blocks here. So one goes there and the other one here. Get your redstone and we're going to place one to the left of that torch and then two on these blocks here. So one, two. Then on this side, two on the ground like so and then one on top of this block here. On top of the green wall, place one piece of redstone dust and then what we're going to do with this redstone lamp is place it on top of this button here so what you can do is just crouch ah there we go oh and then what you want to do is place it on top of the stone button there so make sure your mark is on top and then simply just touch it like that and it should place it on top like so and then finally for your final piece of redstone dust Go up to the top of the redstone lamp and then place it on top. Now I'm going to teach you guys how this works and it is very simple. So it's using the same kind of redstone circuitry as the first tutorial I did with the toggle door. If you haven't seen that I'll put a card up on the screen right now. So how this works is when we press this green button here, this green button will power this redstone on the side here. That will then turn off this redstone torch here unpowering this redstone dust which then allows this torch to turn on. Because this is turned on, it powers this redstone here and keeps this torch turned off. And then that will power the uh, redstone lamp up the top there. Then when we press the red button, because this redstone here will be turned off, let's go ahead and just touch this. Now when we press the red button, this will power this redstone here which then turns off this torch, unpowering that redstone allowing this torch to come on and then this redstone here will be powered, keeping this torch off, which then uh, unpowers the lamp at the top there. So that's going to end off this redstone tutorial today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. Hopefully before the next tutorial as well, I'll have a new controller to use because uh, my current setup doesn't seem to be working um, nicely. Like it will connect for a little bit and then it will disconnect and it's just really unreliable. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know in the comments as well. And subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my new tutorials on the Pocket Edition. But anyway, that's it. Bye guys.